Hello, hello. It is Direct Mail Monday, President's Day, February 18th, 2018. Steve Cypress here and a bit of my... Something is right on there in my mouth. Okay, here we go. Direct Mail Monday, February 18th, President's Day. You remember, I, am I dating myself? I remember when there were two President's Days in February. There was a day off for Lincoln's birthday on the 12th and then Washington's birthday on the 22nd. They combined them. Less excuses for the uh, wage slave type of people of the world to claim, and government workers even worse, to uh, need a day off. Ooh. Alex is here. Scott is here. Great seeing you guys. So here we are again. For those that have been paying attention to a serial nature, I often share the ongoing multi-step multimedia campaigns of AARP, one of the top direct response marketers in the entire country, in the entire world, I'm sure. And uh, after years of ignoring their multiple attempts to get me to become a member, I was like, a, a, what, an American, I don't even know what it's called, Association of Retired Persons or something? I'm like, what, are you crazy? Not only am I never going to retire, but I certainly wasn't retired at the age of 48 or 50 or whenever I started getting these. And then I think I joined when I was 55. And then every year I purposely, if you're paying attention, you see that I purposely fail to renew on time just to see how they're going to communicate with me and what kind of offers they're going to make me to rejoin and how they're going to prod and cajole and influence and persuade and manipulate and sell and whatever you want to call it to try and get me to give them my lousy 15 bucks or something it costs for another year, which, by the way, I didn't even know how much the membership cost for years when I was ignoring all of their direct mail marketing to try and get me to be a member. I was like, not going to do it. I'm not retired. I'm not going to retire. See ya. And then... I decided once to open one of them. I was like, what? They only want 10 or 15 bucks? What the heck? Well, then I start to experience at a much higher level. So there's lesson number one. To, you, want, you, you, you know, if you're getting mail or if you're not getting mail from top direct response marketing companies, it's free education. But if you really want even better level of education, you give them a few bucks. You buy something every once in a while so you can stay on their list and get their better stuff because, because of course, like hopefully you are, smart direct response marketers and direct mail uh, marketers, uh, segment the list. In other words, you, you make different segments of your list, and the buyers uh, get more attention and more uh, investment of money by far than the prospects or the non-buyers on your list, and then top buyers get the top stuff and so on. So even for a lousy 15 bucks, I transferred from the prospect to the buyer list of AARP, and all hell broke loose and all kinds of stuff coming at me. I soon learned uh, that ARP is merely a vehicle to sell lots of insurance. And so uh, my annual membership, I, it's always like you get like, <laughs> you get like a $2 discount as if that's motivating to, uh, but I guess for a lot of seniors it is, uh, to uh, you know sign up for three years or five years or 10 years or whatever it is. But I, I'm always going to do the one year at a time because I want to see months before my renewal date or my expiration date uh, comes due, how they're going to start encouraging me, suggesting, manipulating, selling, cajoling, uh, persuading, influencing, again, whatever you want to call it, uh, to get me to give them my lousy 10 or 15 bucks again. And so it started a few months ago, and I think that maybe a week or two ago, my membership officially expired for the year. And uh, I did not get in a, a piece of mail the renewal notice we finally are responding to. I got that in an email because we get all kinds of, like I said, multiple media, which you want to be using in your business. It's direct mail Monday, but nobody uses who's smart uses just direct mail, and nobody who's smart doesn't use direct mail. So direct mail is just one piece of the marketing puzzle, of your marketing plan that you're putting forth for your business. So uh, in the past week, I think since my – Membership expired. No mail today, of course. It's super cow, government holiday, closed, not working day. But uh, these came over the last few days. A couple of pieces from AARP. So one is trying to sell me a life insurance. It's the AARP life insurance program. And then another one is the AARP uh, health insurance program, which just like the scam politicians do, they're smart to use the phrase... Healthcare, 
It's not about health care. It's about health insurance, of course. But that's how the scam politicians talk about it. Oh, it's health care. We want to give everyone health care. Everyone has health care. What you're trying to get everyone is health insurance. Major difference, right? And so uh, a couple of things from ARP trying to sell insurance, not going for them. We also, uh, we even did one year, did their auto insurance. It went through the Hartford. But AARP, of course, which is another business lesson, you want to hook up with some other companies and do some strategic, what's known in the business as joint ventures. AARP, with their powerful marketing and their humongous list of buyers, says to all the auto insurance companies, in that case, life insurance was New York Life or something, they say to the insurance companies, hey, sweepstakes is on, good luck, may the best company win, woo us, what are you going to give us to suggest to our customer base that they buy auto insurance from you? Similar to the whole, the, uh, the old economically illiterate AOC's uh, most recent bumbling fool ridiculous thing i mean up till now it's been pretty much all words from her which are hilariously entertaining are they not but now finally she has her first stupid action to go along with her stupid words she chased away <laughs> billions of do billions billions of dollars in revenue and improvements and salaries and jobs for people right there in her district in New York, which even sets off all of her, her, her fellow New York as liberal as they get, socialist, communist politicians like Bill de Blasio who even realize, you bumbling idiot, look what you did. Only he decided to come out and blame Amazon for taking their ball and going home because Amazon as if we want to operate such a hostile environment. You can imagine as they're building their new headquarters, they'd be picketed and probably have materials stolen and rocks thrown at the people. And then, God forbid, they ever got it done, started hiring, they'd be picketed and they'd be their cars would be egged on the way in and ragged on on the way home and what and then Amazon. They're like, yeah, I, you know, time to pull the plug now. We're not, we didn't get to be like, you know, Bezos running it, be the richest man of all time, being an idiot. He's like, yeah, we don't want to operate in this environment. Understatement of the millennium. Get out of here. We don't want anything to do with AOC. And so where de Blasio, when, hey, when, when Amazon, you remember this? They, they won the, the nationwide sweepstakes for, hey, Amazon's going to, you know, gift, be, be give a gift to some city in America. They ended up doing two of them to be our second headquarters. And the sweepstakes began in the all the offers came out and every city fighting each other in New York won and de Blasio came out and proclaimed, hey, this is a big message. New York City is open for business. Come one, come all. See how friendly we are to business and how you want to come in. And of course, they would have come in because just by building, just by saying you're going to build your headquarters there, of course, who's going to do the construction? You're going to bring people in from out of state of the New Yorkers with all those construction jobs and all those electrician jobs and all those drywall jobs and all those bricklaying jobs and all those, you name it, all kinds of jobs just building the place. Not to mention all the jobs that come after and then all the the housing which I had to go up and all the new grocery stores and restaurants and dry cleaners and everything to support these new this new beautification of the Long Island City, one of the most blighted areas uh, that there is, Just uh, which is, of course, why Amazon chose it. Like, let's fix up that area and be the heroes. And, oh, AOC threw a wrench into that. I will not allow you to be a hero, not in my area. I don't want you to bring lots of jobs and prosperity to my area. I'm a socialist. We don't go for prosperity. We go for equality, which means that everyone's equally miserable. So she chased them away. Anyway, so similar sweepstakes for your business, you ought to do to attract joint venture partners. Say, hey, I got influence over this group of people, my customers, my clients, my patients, my members, whatever, and who wants to be the person that I suggest that they all go to your pizza place and buy your pizza. There's 20 pizza places in town. Let's go. Sweepstakes are open. Which one do you want me to recommend? Now, I don't recommend that you just blindly take the highest bidder. No. Uh, who knew if New York was the highest bidder for Amazon? That's not how it works. You, of course, have to vet them also. So just because the worst pizza place in town with terrible service and, you know, 100 million bad reviews on Yelp and whatever says, I'm writing a check and I want you to recommend me, don't do it. Uh, You've got to vet them out. But you ought to select joint venture partners like Amazon did and like AARP does. 
So we even went with that Hartford Insurance one year from the ARP. Great deal. You get a great, great rate because of the, the buying power. And then ARP, of course, makes bazillions of dollars off it. But it came in an email, the offer saying, if you renew by a certain date, we're going to throw in a gift, a gift with purchase, which is a age-old concept that I'm sure you hopefully you use in your business. I know you use it when you're on the other side of the register and you buy stuff, you get a gift with purchase. Think about it. Does it help you to make the purchase decision? In fact, there's a saying in, in the marketing world among sharp marketers, which hopefully you are or you're becoming by watching my videos, that often people will buy simply to get the gift, to get the bonus. Even if they don't want the main thing, they'll buy to get the bonus. So many people have done that. Uh, one of the most famous ones in recent years is the Sports Illustrated shoe phone or the football phone. Well, not the shoe phone is Maxwell Smart. <laughs> Get smart. The football phone, right? They ran whole commercials the whole minute. It was all about how great the football phone is. Oh, and by the way, you get here's how you get the phone. You have to order a year's worth of Sports Illustrated. Like it's the only time, and then they like five seconds on. Yeah, you get the swimsuit issue and a bunch of other sports. And they're like, oh, okay, I'll get the swimsuit issue and a bunch of other things I never want. But I want that football phone. They made it seem so awesome. So that's technically the bonus. But the marketers were smart. They said, you know, let's. how can we sell the Sports Illustrated that really nobody wants more than the people already getting it? Let's add in a bonus of a phone. And then smart marketer, likely through testing, which hopefully another lesson, hopefully you're doing a lot of testing. You're throwing out ideas, and you're actually not just asking. Testing doesn't mean you ask people and say, what do you think? I see that a lot. Or you survey people, what do you think? That's not how you do it. You actually put out the offer. Full bore, go for it and see what happened. And I have a feeling in the shoe phone sweepstakes, when they put out the offer of, hey, buy a year's worth of Sports Illustrated and you get a shoe phone for free, that was dwarfed by the results they got of like, hey, don't you want a shoe phone, shoe phone, shoe phone? Oh, yeah, you got to get Sports Illustrated. Oh, okay, I'll get the Sports Illustrated. So same thing here uh, with renewal. Did I want to give my 15 bucks to ARP? Well, technically, of course, I did because I just want to stay on their list and see all the marketing they're sending me, especially their renewal marketing. But uh, I was like, let's see what gift they give us this year. Because last year we got this handy dandy AARP official uh, trunk organizer. So it folds up, you leave in the trunk, and then you open it up. My beautiful wife Michelle tells me she uses this all the time when she goes shopping and puts stuff in here. In fact, I know it because when she comes home and I help with the the stuff because when it's Costco, you know, you can go in Costco, you can try and go in for one thing. You're not coming out with less than $500 worth of crap. And so the whole trunk is full of stuff and this thing has stuff in it and it makes it easy to carry it in. Cause if you know Costco, uh, they also don't give you bags. Uh, they can give you some used boxes of stuff or whatever, but you're basically just throwing all the stuff in your trunk. So this thing helps. So I was like, all right, let's see what they give us this year. And lo and behold, it's the same thing. So we're going to get two of these, folks. We're going to get a second one. And I went right to my beautiful wife, Michelle, and I said, honey, you know, do you use this thing? And oh, yeah, yeah, I use it. And, you know, would you like a second one? Oh, yeah, let's get a second one. Why not? You know, more room in the ground. And then I remembered, of course, I know you use it because I carry stuff in it. So we'll be getting a second one of these. Can't show you how it came in a direct mail piece because it came in an email. And it said, hey, your membership, you know, is expired all the time up till that. And I shared it with you. It was saying it's expiring soon, it's expiring soon. Then it said it's expired. But if you renew now, we give you this gift, this fabulous AARP trunk organizer. And I was like, ah, it's the same thing as last year. But my beautiful wife, Michelle, wants another one. So maybe five years from now, our entire trunk will be full of trunk organizers. <laughs> and then we'll have backseat organizers. And then we'll have roof organizers. <laughs> In 20 years, we'll have 20 of these. So there you go. So uh, that's the lesson today. Lots of lessons there. The gift with renewal, gift with purchase, bonus, direct mail, segment the list. I don't remember everything went over. And holy crap, I forgot to say hello to all these people that are here. Scott and Elizabeth, Christine Moore is here. Great seeing you. Jeremy Danley is here. Phil Brakefield is here. All kinds of sharp entrepreneurs are here. Uh, Scott says, good to see you, Steve Cyphers. Good to see you, my friend. I know Scott, who owns, if you still do, a... Uh, a printing business prints a lot of direct mail. So he helps a lot of business owners make a lot of money. And uh, if you want them to really uh, do a lot of business with you, you might want them to get my help. Just tell them to go to helpfromsteve.com, mention your name. I'll move them up on the list when I see it. Because my uh, 
I'm way over flooded with those. But once in a while, I dig in. I say, let's do five or ten of these. And I get on the phone and actually get on the phone and find out about your situation. If you want to do it, go to helpfromsteve.com. And then I help you specifically. So that would, in effect, of course, help your business, Scott, because if they do direct mail without getting expert advice, they're likely to have it not work and then blame the medium blame the way and say direct mail doesn't work Scott not doing it anymore you lose all that potential business so feel free to send them to help from steve.com Christine Moore says hi Christina says they do have good programs that enhance Medicare I'm not old enough yet but that oh you're rubbing it in oh ouch oh not old enough yet and I've been a member for years ouch uh, enhance Medicare yeah they get all kinds of it's insurance business they get all kinds of stuff and uh, that is what you've heard. Well, yeah, and uh, you'll hear it from here also because uh, they have great insurance. But like I said, the buying power is so huge, and the sweepstakes are on like Amazon was going to give the gift to New York City <laughs> until my favorite congressperson ever, AAOC, came along, Hurricane AOC, and said, smack, we don't want success here. Socialism isn't about prosperity and success, it's about equality. So you can't force everyone to be equally successful and wealthy. You can only force everyone to be equally miserable and broke. And so that's socialism. You, you know, they're going to force everyone to be equal. Guess what? They, you know, did you do the math? They're not going to force everyone to be a multimillionaire. <laughs> so what do you think equal means? Hello? All right. And Phil says AARP must get a good deal on drug organizers. Yes, they must call you, Phil Brakefield, who gets the best deals I know of anybody on these gifts with purchase, what are known as uh, gifts, incentives, premiums. Uh, Phil's probably going to give you 17 other names for it. He's been doing it for like 50 years for like 50 bazillion businesses and knows everything about everything there is to know and can get you the best deal on about anything, which reminds me i got to call you for a bunch of stuff that I want for some of my clients. And, uh, yeah, I have a feeling they do. Phil, what, what do you think they get these for? That's a great point. What do you think they get these drug guide organizers for? 50 cents a quarter? I mean, clearly the shipping is like 10 times as much as it costs them to get this thing, maybe a quarter. Okay, so if they get my 15 bucks, which, by the way, they don't care about my 15 bucks. They spend more than that just to get the 15 bucks. They just want to be able to say to these insurance companies, I have X number of members. And they want, they know their numbers. Like, hopefully you know yours. There's another bonus lesson for you here at the end. You got to know your numbers. You got to do the math. You got to know that every single member is worth an average of X amount. So they just want to get as many members as they can. Millions of members times X amount of dollars a year they're worth is how their business works. So even if I don't buy anything, I'm still part of the average. So their whole deal is to get more members. Yours should be too. Get more customers, provide more value, think of more ways you can serve them and more things they want that you can help them get. And their lifetime value goes up and therefore it makes it easier for you to put some of that money back into advertising, marketing, customer acquisition, and get more customers. So it behooves you to keep this cycle going as the business. That's the cycle of the successful entrepreneur or business owners. You keep providing more and more value to your customers, clients, patients, members. They, in, in return, give you more money. You then reinvest some of that money back into more marketing and advertising and providing even more value and you get more customers, clients, patients, members, you provide more value, you get more money, everybody wins until you can get millions of these out there for a quarter apiece or something. And then you get your, so the, the $15 membership, they only get $14.75 because they got to give me the trunk organizer. All right, that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. Kind of a long video, I was planning on a short one, uh, ironic on a day there's no direct, there's no mail. Still had a quite a, a long and a fun, I think I got off on a rant there about my favorite congressperson ever, AOC. Is she not awesomely entertaining? Are we having some fun now? Unfortunately, though, for her, like up till now, it's only been all kinds of stupid things she said. Now she started doing stupid things, and that's actually trouble, but I still love her. Okay, that'll do it. For Direct Mail Monday, thanks for all the comments, questions, concerns, likes, shares. Thanks to everyone being here live, watching on the replay. Go to helpfromsteve.com if you want some help. 
Don't go there if you don't want to make more money. Phil also says if it's <laughs> if it's fifty cents, they got screwed. <laughs> I, I bet it's like a quarter, right? <laughs> Amazing. I mean, come on. If I ordered one of these, if I bought one of these in the store, which is probably what it said in the email, like, oh, get this which you want to do also, called value selling, call it whatever you want, but you always, when you're mentioning the premium, the gift, the bonus, the anything, you don't just want to say get this free whatever, you want to put in what it's normally worth, what the value is. They probably said get this trunk organizer, $25 value or $20 value, or how much this would sell in a retail store In if they sold these in needless markup or one of those highfalutin stores, it'd probably go for 50 bucks. And so, uh, but they get it for a quarter. But they don't tell you that. They say, oh, it's a $20 value. Then you say, hmm, wait a minute, $15 to renew. I get a gift worth 20 No brainer. I got to do it. And that's what will happen to you, dear viewer and listener, in your business when you also do some smart marketing, which I hope you do. So have a happy rest of your President's Day. And thanks for being here today. Scott says, thanks, my pleasure. And I'll be back again tomorrow on Topical Tuesday, although I've pretty much already done my rant for the week on a topic, on a news topic. That's what I do on Tuesday, so I'm a little newsed out now, uh, <laughs> just laughing at the thought of AOC being so economically illiterate, although it's not funny anymore because she's now cost millions of people uh, happiness and prosperity. Uh, governor of New York is miserable. The mayor of New York is miserable. Like, oh my goodness! Like we didn't stop her because she's so entertaining, but now she just went off and cost the city, the state, and all kinds of individual people ridiculous amounts of money. Anyway, that'll do it for today. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Hope to see you all then. Thanks for being here today. Adios. Over and out. And bye bye.